California, one of the country's most culturally rich and diverse cities, not to mention a hotbed for some of the world's most extraordinary food. I'm close to the site of LA's new amazing football stadium, the future home to the Rams and the Chargers. While the area awaits the business the new stadium will bring, there's one restaurant whose doors are in danger of closing. Family owned and operated since 2002, Madeira's Bakery and Bistro has earned a great reputation for its freshly baked goods. Unfortunately, an intervention is needed because, frankly, Madeira, this place is in trouble. Silence for 30 seconds. Please stop eating, madam. Carrie, I've been here for the last 90 minutes. I understand while the restaurant is struggling, Madeira's is officially closed. Can you all follow me, please? I ain't gonna do too well with him. Oof. Oh, my lord. Are you nervous? Of course. This is Hell on Wheels. It's a state-of-the-art kitchen. And more importantly, this is my epicenter. Staffed with the most extraordinary team. Everything we do, we put passion into it. I'm about to show you something that we've been secretly filming over the last couple of weeks. And trust me, it speaks to why this restaurant is failing. Watch carefully, please. What is the smell in the back refrigerator? Yeah. Ain't nothing spoiled, is it? It's the wheels? It's the wheels. Can you go down to King's Market and see if they have any steaks? Oh, we don't have French toast right now. 86 spinach, 86 French fries, catfish, salmon croquette. Stop what you're doing and go get me some eggs, because this is not going to last us. That ain't no customer service for me to be talking shit loud enough for me to hear you, though, right? He was one of his mouth, G. This is the wrong plate, but I'm going to go ahead and send it out. Carrie has a lazy-ass daughter named Tiffany. She doesn't like to work hard. She can stand there behind the counter and chit-chat with all the guys that come in. I don't know why you guys are just stacking them up here. Why can't you guys double bag this stuff? Devin, what exactly are you doing? The employees, they just fear her. There's no respect. Kiss my ass. <laughs> Imbeciles. Fucking imbeciles. Oh, no. Why has it come to this? 12 hours a day, seven days a week for the last 16 years. Where are the standards? Staff, anybody? What's happened? No one listens. No one listens. No one gives a flying fuck. Watching you carry the owner this morning, mixing, dredging, cooking, cleaning, washing, sweeping up, you did not strike me as the owner there this morning. They know that help is coming, but what they don't know is that, that help is me. I needed to know the issues before I even stepped foot inside. So my team told the restaurant that they are trying out for a renovation series. While they're being interviewed, we installed hidden cameras throughout the restaurant and have been secretly recording surveillance footage since we left. There's a bag in my desk. That is disgusting. We're Ramsey. How are you? Dan, how are you? Red Hot, nice to meet you. Uh, likewise, good to see you too. Can you send that back, please? Who? Gordon Ramsay. What? Yeah. Alice. Alice, nice to see you. You well? Wow. Let's just get one thing clear. I've just been sat out there for the last hour, eating some of the worst food I've ever tasted in my entire career. Really? Wow. Yeah. Oh. How's business been, generally? Bad. Bad? Yeah. Why do you think business is bad? It's not a lot of customers. Every other business this afternoon, and has been for the last three hours, have been packed. Why do people come here? Um, Should I tell you? Because they can't get in anywhere else. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is not Patrick Malloy's. This is the last resort. I'm pretty pissed. I thought it was good. You hear most feedback is pretty positive. Oh, fucking hell. I've got some bad news for all four of you. Excuse me two seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, stop eating. Forks down. Everybody, the restaurant is closed. All of you, follow me outside. Right now. Let's go. Let me introduce you to Hell on Wheels, the heart of my command center. And more importantly, every individual behind there are serious experts. Over the last few weeks, your restaurant has been under surveillance. I want you all to have a look. I am horrified. It's fucking embarrassing. It's Leo. I know. These tables are so 
sticky. It's disgusting. Kissing in the middle of service. You got the owner of the sun that doesn't come around that much. She already did like an hour. You want to be the top dog? I don't care about that though. But you do. Oh my god. I want to be out of here seven fucking years ago and I can't get out of here. That's fucking honestly. I, I wonder, well, that's well, really. You, no, I'm not a swear no. We need someone to stand up and say, I run this fucking place. You gotta do that, and you don't do that. Dude, this is gross. Wow. Jesus Christ, the monster. Oh my god. Ugh. I cannot believe we just ate this. Shocking. I mean, it's just disappointing because you expect people to be up to code. And it's going to take a big turnaround <laughs> for me to come back here. Cross-contamination, raw chicken with cooked food. That's unacceptable. Excuse me? That's unacceptable. You're right. We're doing it wrong. You go to the gym and you walk in your restaurant half fucking naked. You know, you're just, it's something that you're used to doing. and. It's just bad habits. You're running a business. It's not a catwalk. You know what? Irma, you might have to man the post. Oh, really? And you go wash the dishes? No, I'm going to go watch the Ram game. Time to go sightseeing. Morning, guys. We good? Smile, please, everybody. Madame, s'il vous plaît. Whee! I'm posing as a French tourist so I can go deep undercover. I lived in Paris for three years, deux ans, deux, two years. I learned to speak French whilst training as a chef in Paris in my early days. So this was the perfect opportunity. Also on your right, Fox Studios. Home to The Simpsons, New Girl. And me. I have a pretty good idea where we'll go for lunch. All right, well, look, it looks like one of my favorite restaurants, La Serenata. Let's see if they'll let us join in the fun, guys. All right, thank you. Hopefully, I won't be spotted. All right, we got customers. Welcome to La Serenata, you guys. Drew. Great, great, thank you. We got a uh, nine top coming in. Missy? Ay, ay, ay. This place looks grim, please. Huh? Missy? We are ordering dishes that any Mexican restaurant worth their margaritas and salt should be able to make. I'll have the ceviche. Two we'll tortilla have soup. Cochinita. Mm -hmm. We'll have that. I'll have a mahi mahi as well. Okay, very good. One more thing. Yeah. We'll have the breakfast uh, burrito. Thank right. you. Okay. Having seen the practices in that kitchen from my surveillance team. <laughs> Look at this. I'm not expecting much. Come on, then. Oh, shit. When was last time this thing saw a lick of paint? Really, really oh. dreary. Oh. Well, ceviche for madame. Uh, sweat came off his fucking nose into my suit. I look, look at it. It's spilling over like a volcano. What does it taste like? That tastes disgusting. Okay, burrito. Okay, red pepper burrito. Thank you, sir. Okay, be careful the place and be hard, okay? You have to make everybody happy. Every single baby. people has to be happy with the food. <laughs> I don't think the food's a problem here. <laughs> that is gross. I'm not going to tell you what that reminds me of. It's like the inside of my great granddad's underpants <laughs> without the piss stains. <laughs> okay, mahi with the garlic. I think you're the mahi lady. Aren't it's you? here. Yeah. You, you, no, it's here. Oh. You don't like spicy, right? Oh, that's me. I'm the no spicy oh, lady. Oh, okay. I'm the one who, who ordered mahi mahi. Just put the plate down. Okay. There you go. So this is a salmon. No, that's mahi mahi. That's, that's a mahi mahi. mahi. Oh, that's the same. It's the same. Yours the same is more spicy. Yours is the chili thingies, and mine is the mild one. Oh my lord. No composure. It's just running around like a headless chicken. Right, I've seen enough. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll be back in a moment. Okay. okay. See you later. Please follow me, Junior. Oh my. 
Young man, can you ask Marco and everybody to come and join me right now, please? Young man, come and stand here, please. Oh, my God. It's Gordon Ramsay. Hello, Aura. Hi. Please, Hi. stand next to Junior, thank you. I've had better days. <laughs> what I've just experienced was shocking. I just want to say, you can never, ever step inside this dining room again, dripping of sweat from your nose into customers' food. I got it. How disgusting is this place? Ladies and gentlemen, have your attention, please. Would you all put your knife and forks down? Young lady, can you get me everybody out of that kitchen now, please? Thank you. We are not eating any more shit for today. They want everybody up front right now. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. My burger is about to burn. I've seen enough. That was <laughs> embarrassing. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, certainly nothing to laugh about. All of you, take a good look at this. That grill needs to be clean because it's a nasty mess. Oh, what is that? <gasps> oh, that's disgusting. Jermaine, the things that he do around here and the things that his girlfriend do around here, you're not going to get nowhere. There was something else I was supposed to do, but I can't remember. Man, now it's like an all-time low on bleeding money. He's like a nice dude, he's just very incompetent. I'm walking in the door and not having a clue. I just opened up the door. <laughs> I've never seen such an injustice to a Korean-style restaurant. What I'd like to tell you all now is that Miss Alex is actually from my culinary team. Alex, uh, would you mind coming over, please? If you were to sum up the experience today, uh, what would you say? Uh, let me show you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Salmon. And what's in here? Did anyone order asparagus today? Really? Are you kidding me? I just didn't have a chance to clean out the walk-in. They're laced with molds. Look, I wasn't the chef. I got thrown in this position. You don't need to be a culinary star to understand. That's fucked. <coughs> Just have a smell of that and pass it. Along. Pass it to the gentleman behind you. Smell it. People think this is exaggeration. I'm not oh. fucking around. So, would you mind? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you all to stop eating. Madam, can you get me the kitchen out? Stay the they want us out here. Okay. Turn everything off, y'all. All right, stop. Cut stop. everything off. Free. I'm going to take it from here. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, that was nothing to applaud about. We've just had a dreadful experience. The passion's gone, the excitement's gone, and it's a restaurant that's just going through the motions. But I have something to show you. You need to see this. Please, take a close look. Every other day, somebody's complaining about the quality of the food. One night, about six or seven people get sick from salmonella. The word spread quickly. We've just never recovered from that. Why have we given up? I feel like the owners have given up on us, so if they don't care, why should we care, you know? You have loyal customers that have been coming here for decades. They have former loyal customers that do not come here any longer because of what has happened. Based on what you've just seen, 
Could you raise your hands and tell me you're desperate to rebook and come back for dinner? From the bottom of my heart, I'd like to apologize for that dreadful experience on behalf of the lackluster owners. But what I am going to ask is that you give me 24 hours, and I'd love nothing more than to see all of you back here tomorrow. And that 24 hours starts now. But ladies and gentlemen, I've got my work cut out. And I hope a big cleaning staff. There'll be a massive cleaning staff. Every member of staff, get on your cell phone and say goodbye to home, because you're in this as much as I am. Hey, Gordon Ramsay just walked in here, and I'm not going to be able to come home. There were all these guests, like, that came in on a bus. I don't know. He was wearing a disguise. It was crazy. I wanted to make sure I get honest answers from the staff, so I sent David and Dubby to clean up the kitchen. What has happened? Somebody tell me. The leadership, man. You have no leadership. They need to be present. Let's talk about Dubby. For a man that got his own place, he's never here. Wow, really? What you see here is what you got. Why is he not paying attention? His passion has gone. It's, it's gone completely. So David goes out and buys the supplies? Yes. yes. Right. Yeah. Once a week, twice a week? Every day. Every, every day. day. Every day. Yes. Yes. Every day. We don't have a supplier, and we don't have money. Why is there no supplies here? Because they haven't got paid. These people couldn't get paid. None of us. What? We couldn't get paid on time. That check is important. That's how we take care of our family. You asked a million things of us to do, but you, you can't cash our check. 